Do you know how to back up your pictures from your iPhone to your computer? Do you know the easiest way possible? Well, this video is for you and it's really dedicated to my friends because a lot of them have lots of pictures on their phones and they're not sure how to get the pictures off their phone and onto their computer. So the easiest way I'm going to tell you is actually just to plug in your phone directly to your computer. So that's just using what you would normally plug in. Take that USB that you'd normally plug in to the charging part and uh, plug that into your computer. And then this part, of course, into your phone. And then what happens is the phone becomes a drive or a location on your computer. So on my screen, I'm going to go to my folder area. I have the, the picture folder actually already open, but I'll show you how to get there. So I'm going to go to folders, your file explorer, windows explorer, whatever you have, click on that. And it's going to go to some location that you usually go to. Uh, mine's actually showing me what I want to see, but let me backtrack a bit. So I want you to find on the left side of your screen somewhere where it says this PC. So go find that, this PC. And then what happens is that's your computer and everything that's plugged into it. If you have extra drives, external drives, backup drives, I have a server. Um, and then it also is showing me because I plugged in my phone, the Apple iPhone. And so that's the key here. We're just going to open up this device. And when we open up this device, it looks like this internal storage. Okay. So I'm going to open that up. Double, so I'm opening it up by double clicking on it just in case you're not sure. And then I'm going to double click again. So DCIM is the folder name for all our pictures or all the media on the phone. Open that up. And then you have all these interesting folders. So in my uh, Windows Explorer, I have it viewing so I can see the date as well as a folder name because this is how I can find. I've got thousands of pictures on my phone as well, and I want to make sure I have them backed up to my computer. And I have a couple of ways of doing that, by the way, but this is one of the ways. So how I'm going to have you guys see this view on your computer is I want you to go up to the toolbar at the top of your Windows Explorer, find where it says view. I'm in Windows 11, so my screen might look a little bit different than yours if you have Windows 10, but you still should have a view menu of some kind. So you're going to go to view and you're going to choose details. So details is what gives you the column for modified. And then normally it might come up that it's in order of the name. We want to click on the word modified. So it's in order of the date and opposite order. So the most current one first, or, you know, if you're looking for the oldest one, then you can go that direction. If I go that way, 2003 is my oldest picture apparently on my phone. If I click again, 2023 is the newest one. So I want to go into uh, this folder here, 202307, because that's where I want to grab some pictures and copy them to my computer. So I'm just going to open that up. I have a few pictures in there. And the reason you see movie or MOV all, up, all over the place is because I have my picture set to be a live picture on the version of iPhone that I'm using. So it makes a still picture and then it makes a movie picture. And that's where you see when you play it back on your phone, it looks like somebody's moving. You, you can copy both of them if you want, or you can just copy one of them. It doesn't, doesn't matter. They have the same uh, name. So it has an IMG number image as part of that naming convention and then a number beside it. So I'm going to open up another folder on my computer. So I'm just going to right click. And then I want to open up another folder. So let's just say File Explorer here. Okay, and once I have File Explorer open again on an, in another window, just, this is just going to make it easy for me to copy stuff from one, one window to into another. There's, again, many ways of doing this. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so I want you to see on my screen, it says that I'm on my C drive, my local disk of my computer. I'm in the user's directory for myself and I have a folder called pictures and I have another folder that I put in there called photos from iPhone just for this demonstration. So I'm going to double click on that. Nothing's in there yet, but let's grab some of these photos. So I'm going to just select a number of them. So I'm going to click and control click. Cause I don't want them all. If I want to have them all in a row, then I can click and shift click to select consecutive photos. I'll show you that in another example here. So control click is what I'm doing. So I'm not picking them all. 
And once I have a few chosen, I'm just going to drag them over to that empty folder area. So now I have a copy of these folders on my computer. They're still on my phone. They're also on my computer. Now it's your choice whether you want to delete them on your phone or not. Just free up some space, but this is how you get them on your computer as well. So let's change my view on the right side here to show a medium icon so you can see that they are in fact the same pictures. Now, if you did have a number of pictures you wanted to just copy them all, you can click on one. Actually, let me just click somewhere so it unselects things. I can click on one and shift click on a, an opposite one. So I, in this case, I started on this one, clicked on that one, shift clicked on the last one here, and then I can do a right click and a drag to copy them in here. Right click and drag just means it'll give me an option. Do I want to copy them or move them? So that means getting rid of them off the phone. Uh, another way is if I just drag them because it's going to a different device, it's going from the phone to the computer, it's going to assume when you drag them that you want to copy, that you're not in fact moving them. So let's just do the drag. That's probably the fastest way. So I am getting two copies of every picture because I get the live version and the still picture. And I could have just done this where I said, you know what, I'm going to go to DMC. I am that sort of that, um, I'm going to go above where I am right now. And I'm going to grab that whole folder from July. So I want all the pictures from July. I could just then just drag all of them in here. Now, obviously I'm going to get some duplicates when I do it this way, but that would be very fast, wouldn't it? So now I have all the pictures from July going onto my computer. So that's how easy it is to make a copy of your pictures from your phone to your computer. You're just going to take that cable that you would use for charging your phone and you're going to plug it into your computer and to your phone and then you're going to find that location on your computer and start the copy process. All right, so good luck with that. Have fun.